Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Bucket. In this video, we're going to show you how we can add Dell EMC or Project Data Domain System into the Commvault backup server. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see, I'm logging to my uh, Data Domain System. To show you uh, about the storage unit I want to add. <clears throat> so there are a couple of ways you can add the Data Domain into Commvault. Um, as a deduplication storage unit, um, the DD Boost is the best choice to use uh, for the um, backup devices because it's gonna give you the best performance and the deduplication technology powered by the DMC data domain. Okay, so um, after logging to the data domain, go to DD Boost and then create a storage unit here. As you can see, I already created a storage unit. Uh, which is DD storage uh, one that is my first storage unit which will be used for the uh, backup and this will be integrated into the um, combo server so uh, if you want to see how we can configure the storage unit i have another video in my channel you can you can check on that let's get back to our combo server this, this is called combo server i have uh, I have already added a HP store ones uh, uh, catalyst store, which is also a renowned uh, uh, deduplication storage engine. Uh, <clears throat> so I will add the data domain. Before we add the data domain system, we need to enable um, um, the active DD boost features uh, into the com cell settings. So <clears throat> let's do that. We'll have to go to manage then under system there is the options we call settings and from settings under the global tag we will have to click on add then com cell settings and here we will have to look for active dd boost so i'm gonna paste it here active dd boost and as you can see here it's showing show company um, DD Boost Active DD Boost cover company or uh, show DD Boost Active DD Boost as you can see. So I will <coughs> click on show DD Boost so that I can see if there is any active DD Boost uh, features already into the templates. So there it is, and the category will be Comsar db.gx global param, and the type will be Boolean, and the value will be true. And we need to um, take this option, so it is called enable. And here I will make a comment like uh, enable data domain integration because this is gonna allow us to add the data domain system. Then click save. Yes. if we go to entity and here the active dd boost if we click on this arrow and you can see it's value showing true and the status is enabled so seems good all from here now let's get back to storage and then under the cloud we'll have to add it here so we will click on add here and then the, under the type, we will search for DATA data domain. So let me check if that is visible here. Sorry, not this one. Here we can search, or we can also scroll down for the list of if the data domain system is showing over here. So if, if the data domain now uh, is not uh, available in this list then we can uh, reboot the concept server once so that it can uh, uh, restart all the services and come back with the uh, data domain features uh, as i can see uh, we don't have that options right now so i will make a reboot so i i have rebooted the convert server and now under the storage um, then disk from here 
we can see the data domain boost storage is showing so i'll click on data domain boost storage and then dd boost access we'll have to provide a name and then uh, the media agent so i'll use the combo server itself <coughs> then data domain boost uh, host so host will be 10 10 232 and the storage unit let me copy from here Pulse, DD Boost, Storage Unit, this is my Storage Unit name, so I'll give the same name to here, and Credentials, I will add the Credentials, so the Credential name will be Data Domain, and user account will be ddb ddpost and the password from my ddpost click save okay and and then and, and here i provide a name the name will be dc dd So this is just my data domain name so that I can uh, <laughs> my by the data domain name. Seems all good. Use deduplication. Uh, we can add a location for the deduplication. So we already have a deduplication location in my um, backup server. So that's fine. I will click it and then save. it's asking for the storage name so this is my storage name then it's the same name click save okay so the uh, td boost storage has been added successfully as you can see the status is online and the capacity is 40 we have submit so let's do one thing let's create a backup job or into these uh, DD Boost stories so that we can check if the DD Boost backup is working or not. And let me show you prior the backups. As you can see, into the space uses, we don't have any space use right now. So after backing up, we will be able to see if there is any latest data comes up here. So let's do one thing. Let's go to um, our plan. I have to go manage then plans we will create a plan calls our data domain so <clears throat> i will create a server backup plan and i will name it uh, data domain click next add a storage so i will use dd boost to storage and retention i will mention one week click save then next I will not use any increment and those things because I want to take this back as a one demand. I will click submit. So I have a um, file system client. Wonder protect file server. So I have this file system client. I will uh, make a sub client and try to take the backup by um, into the um, DD boost storage and new sub system and name in data domain test click next and the plan I will use so uh, this backup that will be data domain Click next and content. I will browse and add the content from C drive. I have a location called restore. I'll save this and I don't need the system state. 
click next submit oh it's asking me duplicate content so let me do one thing let me choose another uh, another directory from my um, c drive of the backup clients so i need the directory under the um, c drive of my uh, file system clients so that's uh, the data one click save and then next sorry did not use the system state submit so from my file system clients i'm taking oh sorry i need to remove this on first okay never seems good Okay, so my sub client has been created uh, and I have tagged this uh, sub client backup to my uh, data domain post storage. So I'll go to this sub client and then click on backup and run a full backup and click submit. So this is gonna take my file system client's backup to the data domain system. So let's go to the job details so that we can see the progress of this job. Okay, it's almost 25 percent that means the backup has been initiated and it, it's processing the data to be backed up so let's wait for a few seconds so it's 85 percent almost and the backup job uh, completed successfully that means the backup has been done let's check from the uh, data domain and let me refresh it Unit. I go to storage users. So under the uh, DDBS storage unit, as we can see, we have uh, two hundred and twenty-eight uh, ZB AMFB data has been written today. So that's how we can integrate the data domain system into Commodore backup server and then we can integrate it to the backup clients and there is also another way like how we can take the client direct backup by the um, help of um, uh, storage integrity so we will um, talk about that on our uh, latest video thank you very much for watching and if you want more like uh, this kind of video please keep subscribed to our channel Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.